Welcome to ENT student. We have already discussed the squamous temporal bone details. This is a temporal bone per se as it is. And this is a mastoid portion. This is the zygomatic process. As you could see here, this is the vertical part that is running over here and this is the horizontal part of the temporal bone that is running over here. Okay. So the one which is going backwards like this towards with a, as a line. So which is the relation to the middle cranial fossa over here. This is the supra mastoid crust is going to go here like this. So this is the external artery canal wherein you have got the tympanic bone which is a what is a gutter shaped gutter shaped tympanic bone. So if you take the horizontal part of this squamous temporal bone this is the vertical part which is lateral to the temporal lobe of the brain. So this is the zygomatic bone which is there or here and this is the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. So as you could see here this is the glenoid fossa wherein the temporomandibular joint rests. So you have got the anterior tubercle and posterior tubercle. So this is the anterior one tubercle which is there and this is the posterior one and this is the thinned out part very much thinned out part of the uh, root of the zygoma. So because this is the zygoma, zygomatic process, this zygomatic bone, this is a zygomatic process and which is attaching to the vertical part is called as root of the zygoma. Here it is thinned out, here is thickened and here it is thickened. It is going to go backwards. And if you take the spine of Henle, for example, in this particular specimen, it is not very prominent. It should be the spine of Henle is over here. And uh, the same squamous temporal bone is going to extend down vertically behind the, this is called as retro auricular part of the squamous temporal bone is going to go vertically downwards behind the external artery canal. This part. Then this will become the mastoid bone. So the one which is there as a suture line over here is called as squamo mastoid suture you can have it as squamo mastoid suture this is the tympano mastoid suture so tympano mastoid suture this is the tympano squamous suture so this tympanic bone is u-shaped gutter as i told you like in a uh, like uh, that uh, asbestos sheets gutters are there so this is like a gutter and this is going to be tympano squamous suture and tympano mastoid suture Whereas the retro auricular portion is going to form and run behind like a squamo master suture. This is the basic of the squamous part of the temporal bone, zygomatic process which has got a posterior root, anterior root, anterior, anterior part and posterior part and there is a root of the zygoma is here. And uh, this is going to be the medial part of the zygomatic bone or zygomatic process. Thank you very much for watching ENT student. Chill.